Cut muna tol. Maya maya, maya, maya ng konti. Hindi pa ako... Mamaya na. Cut nyo muna yan. Hindi pa ako masyadong... Basta. Mamaya na. It's like something that you always thought would be there is suddenly taken away from you. I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to be whole again. It's... It was such a huge part of, of who I am and who I identify as a person. And for it to be gone is just... I, I don't know. I, I can't even put it into words. It's hard to do because it's a part of my life. You're going to get to the morning. You're going to get to the house. I'm going to get to the kitchen. I'm going to get to the house. Sometimes, when I get it, I don't have it anymore. I don't have it. At one point, I created about 150 groups on Facebook. I had accounts on social media. I was connected to people all over the world, and we were just trying to help each other find, you know, an answer, some sort of answer. I thought if I casted a wider net, eventually someone would know something. Every solution that we had or every answer that we had just led to more questions. I mean, it's come to the point, I, I can't even remember what it tastes like. It's lost and even in my memories, it's something that's just It's disappeared. So I'm just waiting for who can give me the information where I'm going to be able to get the spam to who. We'll just contact us because we really don't have any other people. Wait. Have you been talking about spam to who this entire time? Oh, why? Um, this is kind of awkward, but it's available again. Oh, that's it? It's already there? So I hope you guys enjoyed that little documentary that we did for you. Yeah. Oh, bago matagal ko nang pinangarap ma ma discovery channel. Alam mo? I feel like we should do more. There's so many like Filipino food myths that we can do documentaries on and kind of have fun with it. Oh, oh, and dami naring mga pagkain na nawala eh. Correct. Sa circulation and mga mystery foods. The myths. Pero we're here to talk about spam casino. We're so happy it's back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The packaging looks awesome. It yes. looks like it's straight from the 80s, yes. and I think that's super cool. Mm -hmm. I actually had no idea that this was even a thing. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then when I tried it, we were started making videos for it, I realized how delicious it actually is. Masarap siya. Like, para talaga siyang tosino. True to the name. Correct. True to the name, actually. Yung galing. Because we're all used to parang, you know, it's very Filipino. You cut your spam, that was you cook it in brown sugar. Mm -hmm. You get mm -hmm. the caramelization. So, yeah. in my head, I thought this would be the same thing. Yes. But here, the flavor of the sweetness mm -hmm. really penetrates the whole. Yes, bread. tama. Hindi lang yung salabas lang. Hindi lang siya crusted. Hindi. Correct. So how do you how do you enjoy eating this? Straight out of the can. Yeah. 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 I love that the branding is quirky. I love that the product's quirky, but it's still really delicious. Yes. So I thought for my dish, I really wanted to lean into that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you remember Thai restaurants where they serve you a whole fried rice and a pineapple. Yes. Uh oh. Uh -oh. So that's kind of what I wanted to do mm -hmm. with some really mm -hmm. nice thick chunks of okay. spantosino inside. Okay. Akin ang gagawin ko naman para siyang very Filipino parin pero not so much bibimbap. Okay. Basically, it's like. Not like it's non-fried rice, fried rice, something yeah. like that, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So rice and spam. So I'm gonna start with the pineapple fried rice, and then you're gonna come back and taste it. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and cook your bibimbap. Okay. Cool. See you later. See you later. See you later. Yeah. Two key components to this dish, obviously the spam tocino and uh, a pineapple. So you want to make sure that you clean. Um, the, what do you call these? Uh, they're called leaves, probably. Um, and we're gonna split that down the middle, make sure to prune them to make them look really nice, because the idea of this is that this is your vessel. The bigger the pineapple, the better, depending on how many people you're serving, obviously. So we're just gonna go ahead and chop that down the middle. 
So the reason why I like this dish, it might look really cheesy and old school, but pineapple and hospitality is actually the, the sign for um, good hospitality and being welcoming. Um, and so you see a lot of bartenders and chefs with tattoos of pineapples. You can see it here, but tattoo is badly done. So there is a pineapple in that spoon somewhere. And it just looks really pretty. Like how cool does that look if it's gonna be put in a plate in front of you? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and core it. And then we're gonna use, obviously not the itchy part, pineapple and spam is a really solid combination that you do see in a lot of dishes, especially coming out of Hawaii. You can do it in sections. Next, our Spam Tocino. So this does come with a little bit of liquid, so make sure you remove that. So usually you would cut Spam kind of like in these long strands. Here, we're gonna do nice little chunky cubes so that you can really see them coming through the rice. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Now, depending on how you cut it, it doesn't really matter. The most important thing about the Spam Tocino is that you actually start it on a cold pan, meaning that the fire is off, so that you start slowly cooking it and you're not burning or caramelizing it too fast. Once everything is in the pan, we turn it on. Once you have a nice color, that's when we're good to go. White onion, some garlic, pan is still nice and hot, a little bit of oil, so onions first, sweat those out, get them nice and sweet. For our sauces, we're going to be using a mix of oyster sauce, some fish sauce, um, and we're also going to be frying some eggs later and adding some chili garlic right on top of that. Garlic. And then you can add your green peas. At this point, I'm gonna add our pineapple. So the reason here is I don't want this to be too wet. So whatever juice there is there will kind of assimilate with the ingredients, but at the same time evaporate. There, now I've got some nice color there. The natural sugars from the pineapple have caramelized a little bit. So we should be good to go to add our rice. Cold day-old jasmine rice, so it separates nicely in your hands like that. You can use two spatulas to kind of rub it like this. Let me just show you here. It kind of separates the grains. So do it really gently so you're not crushing anything either. Time for some seasoning. So some oyster sauce. Now do this before. If your rice is clumpy, make sure you add the sauce first. If your rice is nice and separate, you can actually add the sauce later. I like doing it at this point, because then I can control both the moisture, but also the flavor that's in the rice. Oyster sauce, fish sauce, a little bit of sugar. At this point, we can toss in our spam. All we have to do now is assemble everything. Pineapple down, start with our rice. Cashew nuts. This can be served with some lemon. Um, so just put that on the side or put it on top if you have the space. This is a fairly small pineapple. So I'm just gonna put all the lemon to the side. The fried egg is not very traditional. I just think it looks pretty dope. Scallions, chili garlic on the egg. And there you have it, a revamped Spam Tocino pineapple fried rice. The moment of truth, uh, Ryan is gonna join us again and we're gonna taste this so that we can be 100% sure that it doesn't taste bad. So you saw the process. Mm -hmm. Let's just break the egg and kind of spread that. I like the egg, but there's a crunchy part. I love crunchy eggs. It's good to eat it. You can eat it as well. What's the tocino vibe? Tocino? Good. And tocino not, tocino. without it being overly sweet? Yes, uh oh. Sometimes it's hard to find that kind of flavor. It's the right balance. Correct. Kasi, Parang usually yung tunay na tosino ay uh, meat candy na siya. Yeah. It's so nice. Tapos yung pineapples. Ang sarap kasi minsan, hindi kasi tayo masyado nagluluto ng fruits eh. Correct. Diba? Pero when you cook fruit, nag-iiba yung lasa niya. Nag-iiba talaga siya. It does look like a very strange dish on paper because of all the flavors that are in there. 
but it actually comes together really well. And also Instagrammable, yeah. which is very, very important. important. Very important. <laughs> okay, so now Ryan is going to show you his uh, rice spent this unit dish. I'm really yes. excited to try yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Masarap to and madali lang to. Nice. <clears throat> okay, ang sarap ng niluto ni Erwan. Pare. Spam and rice, parang you can never go wrong eh. And that's why, yun din ang gagawin ko ngayon. Bibimbap, uh, I think ang uh, direct translation yun ay mixed rice. I mean, di ako Korean and uh, I mean, okay lang naman siguro yun kasi Korean fever is here to stay. Uh, akala natin dati fad lang siya, di ba? Pero party na siya ng ating uh, collective food knowledge. Parang ganun, di ba? So gagawa tayo ng bibimbap, syempre, gamit ito, spam to sino, pare. Napaka, napaka tindi na ito. Napakasarap kung di nyo patunod titikman. You're missing out. Gagawa kasi ako dito ng quick pickle, quick achara, pare. Hindi na natin kailangang uh, patagalin. Mabilis lang to. Ganto pala pag malinis yung kusina. No? Sa amin kasi, marami pa sa pagkatao ko. Eh. Sa paggawa ng uh, yung pinaka tickling solution natin sa achara, dalawang main ingredients, suka and asukal. Equal parts by volume. Not by weight, ha? By volume. Samahin lang natin dyan. So habang nakasalang yan, lagyan lang natin ng peppercorns. Dahon ng laurel, pare. Bay leaves. Okay. So pakukuluin lang natin to. Actually, hindi naman talaga kulo. Uh, kailangan lang umilit siya enough para matunaw yung asukal natin, pare. Mas mamaya na natin siya lalagyan ng asin. Pero pagka ganyan, kung makikita nyo rito, yung sugar nakarest yan sa ilalim, ha? So maaaring masunog yan. Haluin natin. Iyan. Unahin na natin to pare. Red onion. Iwain nyo lang ng pinakamaninipis. Pwede pa lang magluto ng... Hindi ka pinagpapawisan, no? <laughs> Siguro next na ipipikil natin ay cucumber. Pare, ang ganda ng cucumber nila, manipis. So, hindi na natin kailangang hatiin sa gitna. Di ba? Para mas maganda yung shape. Sorry, nag-ano lang ako. Tali lang ako ng sapatos. Anyway, yan, kumukulo na siya. Social yung asin nila dito, oh. Dito. Ba't natatawa kayo? May nakakatawa? O yung mukha ko? Ano? Ano nakakatawa? Patay na yung ano, ah. Apoy, ah. Tsaka natin siya lalagyan ng salt. Kasi enough na naman yung ano doon. Yung heat doon para matunaw siya. So basically, ang ginagawa ko nga dito ay parang achara. Para pinoy na pinoy pa rin. I mean, ako, gustong gusto ko yung combination ng uh, achara and uh, tusino. One, two. Ano pa ba ipipikil ko? Ito, papaya. Pag nagbabalat kayo ng green papaya, meron talaga siyang uh, dagta. Thank you, thank you. Ngayon, pag gagawa ng normal na achara, pwede kayong gumamit nito, grater, i-grate nyo. Pero kung wala kayo niyan, meron pang isang paraan na medyo hindi ko actually trip gawin. Pero, better than nothing. Pwede nyo ganito hinto. Yan. Natutunan ko to sa ano? Sa Thailand. Nung nag-search ako ng Thailand sa YouTube. Pare. Then, pinakamanipis na kaya nyo. Like that. Yan. Diba? Para mo nang minandolin, pare. Okay. I think this is enough na para sa gagamitin natin. Pupunas ako. Sinasalo ko. Sa bahay kasi ganun na lang yan. <laughs> Carrots, pare, hindi naman natin siya ipipikil. I mean, kung gusto nyo, okay lang. Pero lahat na, lahat na naka, nakapikil eh, di ba? Sa French, ang tawag dito ay julienne. Sa Pilipinas, tawag dito pang pansit, pare. Ba't lahat kayo nakangiti? Ba't lahat kayo tumatawa? Mukha awa? Mukha ko ba? Siguro ngayon, pwede na natin painitin to. Meron kasi ako ditong... Uh, kung tuwagin namin to batong mangkok, para siyang ano na rin, pare, uh, sizzling plate or cast iron. Since makapal yung material niya, kaya niyang uh, mag-store ng energy, ng heat sa loob niya, pare. Kaya paglagay natin dyan, yung mga ingredients natin, iinit pa rin, maluluto pa rin kahit nasa harap na nila, pare. Diba? Anong astig nun, pare. So, pwede na natin sindihan to. Okay. So, habang pinapainit natin yan, pwede na natin simulan yung pagpipikil natin. Pare, tatlong klase lang naman yung ipipikil natin dito. Uhus lang natin yan dyan. Maganda na medyo warm pa siya. Kahit di naman talaga super hot. Like me. Mapapansin nyo, parang nag-syrup na siya. And ganun talaga, pare. Kasi natunaw nga yung sugar natin. 
Ngayon, yun natira nyo yung achara mixture. Hindi naman masisira yan, pare. Tsaka, gawa kayo ng proper achara. Tapos ngayon, pare, simulan na natin to ang ating spam to sino. Sabi ni Erwan kanina, meron daw juice. Mm. Parang ano? To sino juice? I mean, for the lack of better term. Kasi yun naman talaga siya eh. Pero naisip ko lang, since sayang, ba't di natin dito ilagay? Tapos ang ganda nung tip kanina ni Erwan, pare. Sabi niya, huwag daw lutuin ng mainit na yung apoy. Hindi dapat ganun yung gagawin ko. Kasi sanay tayo na ano eh. Preheat muna yung mantika and pan. Pero maraming salamat, Erwan. Ganun na yung gagawin ko. So siya kanina, malalaki yung hiwa niya. Ako medyo maliliit lang. Yun. Yan. Yan. Tulad nga na sinabi ni Erwan, cold pan, pare. Ayan, konting mantika lang. Konting mantika lang, pare. Konti lang. Sabi ko nga, konti lang, di ba? Masama, masama na nga loob ko, hindi ko didipra yan. Okay. Ngayon, habang hinihintay nating maluto yan, meron tayong dalawang option ngayon. Ang bibimbap, I think almost always uh, has egg. Meron tayong itlog dyan na pwede nating ilagay ng raw sa taas and dahil mainit nga yung stone bowl natin, maluluto siya. And honestly, at least for me, okay lang naman kumain ng uh, ilaw or warm na itlog. Pero I understand na hindi naman lahat talaga ganun. So, pwede tayong maglagay ng salted egg para mas uh, pino yung vibe. Pero nasa sa inyo na yan, pare. Pwede nyo i-fry yung egg, pwede nyo i-poach. Pero ito, yan, luto na yan, di ba? Feeling ko okay na ako rito. Good morning, pare. Mm -hmm. Ito na yung ating, uh, I wouldn't say toasted, pero uh, dilagyan lang natin ng konting kulay na spam tosino. Alam ko, parang masarap na siyang tikman, pero parang awa nyo na. Huwag muna, pare. Mahirap masaktan. May last component tayong lulutuin, and that is yung carrots natin. Na naman tayo ibang masyadong gagawin yan, kundi igigisa lang natin. And dahil masarap na yung mantika natin dito, pare, Ba't hindi pa dun, di ba? Kunin natin yan. Mainit yan, ha? Lagay natin. Huwag sa chopping board na Erwan. Mahal yan. Yan. Hmm, pare. Di ba? Actually, ang ganda niyan kasi medyo magkakaroon ng parang sa paeya, yung sokarat. Yung uh, ganda pa ganda, pero tutong lang talaga yun, pare. Tapos yung mga ingredients natin. Unahin na natin itong hindi natin ginawa. Kimchi. May juices dyan. Pwede nyo ibuhos na rin dyan. Lagay natin din, eh. And tapos yung ating quick pickled na pipino, ang ating quick pickled na red onions, pare. Yung ating papaya, pare. Yung carrots natin, pare, syempre. Tapos syempre, pare, ang ating spam tosino. Yan. And finally, pare, ang ating salted egg. Again, pwede kayo maglagay ng raw egg dito or fried egg. Nasa sa inyo na yan. Tapos kung gusto nyo lang din, meron tayo ditong parang gocho dyan kasi ahaluin natin yan. Again, kung gusto nyo lang, ha? Kung gusto nyo lang. Sesame seeds, pare. And eto na, pare. Ang ating spam tosino, bibimbap, pare. Napakadali, napakaganda. And sana magustuhan ni Erwan to, pare. Kasi nakakahiya. Pinapunta niya pa ako dito. Tapos hindi naman masarap yung luto ko. Diba? Papa Erwan, gusto mo ng tikman? Ryan, that a lot of people don't know, is that he always impresses me with the attention to detail. Like, I was watching that the whole time and he was just explaining so many, like, really useful tips, so, good job. Thank you. <laughs> and I love that he actually brought a bowl and what, what he said in terms of, if you, you know when you mentioned about um, if you could listen and hear the sizzles, mm -hmm. I think that's one element or one um, sense mm -hmm. that people don't use enough in cooking is yes. the hearing. Yes, you're right. You don't use it much. Even in the oil. You can also know the temperature of the oil in the hearing. Lang eh. How do we do this? Uh, like Traditionally, you mix it, right? But okay. I personally, that's not my yun preferred way of eating. Because eh. when you mix it, it's just like one-dimensional. Like, True. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gusto ko modular yung bawat subo ko eh. Okay. Yeah. So a bit of whatever. Yes, kung okay. anong gusto mo. I'm gonna do 
Yan. I think salted egg for sure. Yes, marami kasi tayong sweet na element na nilagay diyan, pero the pickles. believe me, gagana yan kasi achara into sino. It works eh, oh, 'di ba? Yeah. Para sa lang matamis. And kimchi? Yes. Oh, oh that's still steaming. Yon. Wow, ito ang spam natin. Mm. Oh, sorry. Oh. I'm gonna go deep. What fuck with hot? Flavors na nalasahan ko, and yung textures. Oh. <laughs> what I love about this is that it actually feels like bibimbap. Yes. In terms mm -hmm. of the texture, yeah. the flavors that you have, it does feel like a bibimbap. Yes. With Filipino elements. Yes. Which I think is really cool. Um, so if you guys haven't tried the Sino Spam yet, it's back. We're 100% clearly very happy. Ang dami sa mga kababayan natin ay mahilig naman talaga sa spam. Parte na ng culture natin mm. yan eh, honestly. Mm -hmm. diba? so, lalo na ngayon, dumalik yung parang local flavors nila. Alam mo yun, diba? Sobrang pasok na pasok to. And it's, pa super, it's super special because yes. you don't have tons of spam flavors all over the world. So that there's specifically a spam flavor for the Filipino palate. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, pari. Bye. The perfect bite. The perfect bite by. Tapos, pag sumubo ka, mm. two seconds of contemplating, mm. small gulat ka. Deep look, at the, uh, look at the camera. Okay. Uy! Ganon. Okay. Fuck, this is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.